Okay guys and girls, I'm going to shoot a new video of this uh, 71 Nova. It was a race car most of its life, and then it was put back on the street. Um, basically when it was done, I, I, don't, I don't think they did quarters. I don't think they needed to. And I know that he put a new deck lid on it, new fenders, new hood. I believe that's a GM Fenders and GM Kyle Hood is what he told me. I bought this from a friend of mine. I can call him and ask him questions. The things you see dripping underneath it are water. I just washed it. It's been sitting in the corner. I've owned this car for about two years and I just keeps getting put on the back burner. And it's almost to a point to where I'm going to stop doing anything to it or I'm going to finish it, which my version of finishing it is probably ordering some kind of single turbo or something and putting a turbo on it. But basically, it uh, it has a GM crate performance um, 5.3 motor in it. So, GM crate performance 5.3 motor with a GM performance cam has bigger injectors in it um, it's running kind of open headers right now so there's no exhaust it's still going to need exhaust work and this is to the point to where you know do i put a turbo on it does somebody else want to do something do they want to do nothing it, you know is it good enough the way it is for them you know it has a built 350 turbo in it that uh, has good shift kit and everything in it this car it has rack and pinion front steering it has willwood four-wheel disc brakes on it um it has strange axles in the 12 bolt there, there's actually a lot of work done to this car all you know all new bumpers and stuff um it, it's kind of underrated in the two years that i've owned it and i've been tinkering with it only one person has ever showed up to look at it and basically this thing needs a couple things buttoned up the wiper motor's there the arms are there um but it's going to need the the uh, I believe the plug for the, you know, I believe the plug is in there. If not, you run it on a toggle switch. Who cares? Um, to hook the wiper motor up on it. The uh, the rest of the car, like I said, it was not a rusty car ever. It was a race car most of its life. Um, I do not know, and I will ask, which horsepower uh, crate motor that is. I know it's not a monster horsepower crate motor. He was building the street car, but he liked the pro street look. So, like I said... GM crate performance, 5.3, GM performance cam, bigger injectors. Um, anyways, it has a newer uh, radiator and fan set up off a newer Camaro, so it would cool, you know, better. Um, as you can see, the paint job's pretty slick. It needs one final buffing, which my kid may actually get to tomorrow. He uh, He's actually pretty good at that. He worked at a shop where he used to polished lamborghinis and high-end cars um so 12 bolt rear strange axles old school coilovers the four link setup um you know it, it's an old school chassis we'll just say that um all new bumpers um the uh i did get the interior done well, I take that back. I got some of the interior done. And I paid big money for that dash pad and the door panels and stuff. Um, you can see the bottoms of the doors. Uh, I got the sill plates put on it. Um, the headliner's good. I need those two pillar pieces that go up the side of the dash right there. And honestly, it could have used a little bit better carpet, but so be it. Um, the vinyl top is new. Like I said, the paint was new, but it's been two years old, two and a half years old, and it's just been pushed around the shop here and there and moved and moved and moved and dust wiped off of it. So it needs a good polish on it. But like I said, GM crate motor, the uh, um, four wheel disc brakes, 12 volt rear, Willwood brakes, they're, they're adjustable. It has rack and pinion steering in the front. Um, basically, I'm gonna let this car sit for sale for another two weeks or so, and then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna put mufflers on it and exhaust and do things to what I'm gonna do, and then make my mind up if I wanna do any turbo or not. I haven't made my mind up. Um, I do wanna, like I said, this is, uh, it's a great start to a cool project. It could be very cool. Um, 
I just figured whoever would want to finish it their way. Um, like I said, some people may not want a turbo. Some people may want Flowmaster. Some people may want turbo mufflers. You know, it gets to that point to where you got to kind of stop and, and let somebody do it their way. But if nobody's going to do it their way, I'm going to finish it up and do it my way and just go on. Um, anyway, 71 Nova. It's been a race car most of its life. You can see the grill, the bumpers, front and back, the trim, the vinyl top, the vinyl top trim. Um, I, I don't know how to prove if it's GM Street sheet metal or not. I know it all lines up better than most of the aftermarket stuff I've ever seen. Um, and I know he wasn't cheap. He, he actually bought good stuff. He, he's not that type of guy. I bought about seven cars from him. He just kind of, he retired and was playing with cars, and then he kind of retired from playing with cars. So, anyways, but, uh, you know, there's a couple of nicks here and there from getting moved around and stuff that need a little touch up on them, but the car's straight see it's nice looking um, anyways there you go 71 Nova want to clear a few things up it does need a couple things you know like I said mufflers um, the wipers the, the wiper a motor just needs to be wired up and I believe the plug is there so I, I don't think that's necessary it does need a front end alignment I haven't had that done yet in which I may get to that here shortly but there you go. 